The monsters are back. This time, they're in college. Yes, that's right. Chugging on beer, taking shots off women's tits, doing lines of cocaine, taking ecstasy, having fart jokes, shitting on people for fun, drawing dicks on each other's faces, getting their dick caught in a pie. It's like Animal House, but with monsters. Monsters University. I love the original Monsters, Inc. movie, but how does the prequel stand along with this franchise? Honestly, it's pretty damn good. Is it better than the original? No. But it still feels like a fresh prequel. I love how they were able to take the characters that we love, like Mike and Sully, actually have them feel very fresh and still feel full of surprises. It's hard to make a prequel do that without just giving them information from their past and just showing it, but they still manage to have a level of excitement. There's still a level of fear, a level of danger. The chemistry between Mike and Sully, although it's a different relationship than what we remember, it's still pretty damn good. But I do have a few concerns about Mike and Sully. For example, how do they take a shit? Mike is just an eyeball. He eats food, but where does he go to the bathroom? Where does he pee? Does he poop? Does he have a penis? Could I suck his dick? As I remember in the original Monsters, Inc., he had a girlfriend, and you know, they seem really in love. But how do they make love? And then you got Sully, who most likely can go to the bathroom because he's clearly like a more, the more human-shaped kind of guy. But you know, his penis is probably covered by all his blue pubic hair. But anyway, the most important thing is that it actually feels very fresh, still feels alive. It's not a waste of your time like I thought it was gonna be. It's actually worth watching, and it's cool to see the history of how they became better friends when they were originally enemies. There's also a lot of great monsters too. They have some really funny characters in this movie. There's this one guy with like a billion eyeballs. Actually there's like a lot of monsters in this movie with a billion eyeballs. There's this purple monster who, who will make you crack up. He will make you laugh a few times. It's a pretty funny character. I had a good time watching him. And the animation, like how Pixar likes to do it, is fantastico. The great details, wonderful imagery. Every monster in this feels alive. You're not distracted going, oh, they're a bunch of cartoon characters. You're actually watching it going, I'm on board. I, I, these characters feel very human to me, actually. Weird, isn't it? Monsters feeling human. In a way, we're all monsters, aren't we? That's why guys and girls can't be friends. They will eventually fuck. Or you'll end up in the friend zone with one of them wanting to fuck them. That's not what this movie's about. One of my complaints about this, though, is it's not as original as it's capable of being. You know, like, Monsters, Inc. was so fucking original. This one, it kind of follows that formulaic premise that we've seen a billion times before of, oh, two guys kind of working at the same place, whether it's a work environment or college or the internship. These guys are enemies at first. They have to learn to come together, become friends, and conquer those goals at college together. It's predictable plot. I will say the last like 30, 45 minutes has most of its creativity in there. The last 20 minutes takes a fresh spin on what we might normally expect this movie to end like. They actually give the characters something to make the audience kind of question their morale, question their integrity, question who they are. It's a really neat take on a kid's movie actually. And last thing I gotta say, there's a short film before this movie that is one of the more unique Pixar films ever. It's not as funny and vibrant as we're used to, it's more slow moving, but it's one of Pixar's most unique ones, and I recommend paying attention for it. For those with a short attention span, you will probably need Adderall. So overall, it's fresh, it's funny, animation's great, it's inventive for the most part. Let me get straight to the point here. All in all, I gotta say, Monsters University got it right. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my show. Why don't you go ahead, scroll that comment box below, and tell me. What is your favorite monster moving picture you have ever seen? And if you want to see a more in-depth review of Monsters University, go ahead and check out my show called Reasons to See, where we have special guests on the show, Michelle Q, where we're going to give you a breakdown of reasons to see and not to see Monsters University. And last but not least, if you want to get updated every time one of my reviews is out, go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link right here by my monster. Cock.